Welcome to Infigyan friends. In this video we are going to take up another very interesting question from algebra. Here we have to evaluate 1085 over square root 5 minus 92 raised to the power 1 over 3. So let's get started by considering this expression equal to x first. Now I will consider cubing both sides. So a power b whole power c we can take the product in the powers. So this 3 and 3 will be over. So I can write x cube equal to 1085 over square root 5 minus 92. Let's rationalize our denominator root 5. So I will multiply in the numerator denominator by root 5. Now this will give us 1085 root 5 over 5 minus 92 which will be equal to 217 square root 5 minus 92. This is x cube. Now x cube is greater than 0. x is also greater than 0. Let us assume y cube which will be equal to the conjugate of x cube 217 root 5 plus 92. Now I will subtract second equation from first one. So I can write here x cube minus y cube equal to minus 92 minus 92 minus 184. Let us say this is our equation number 1. Now I will take product of these two. So I can write here x cube times y cube will be equal to 217 root 5 minus 92 times 217 root 5 plus 92 a minus b times a plus b we can write difference of two squares formula here so this will become minus 92 whole square now square of 217 root 5 this value will be 235445 minus square of 92 8464 this difference will come out 226981, which is cube of 61. Left hand side we have xy whole cube. Once I will take cube root both sides, we will get xy equal to 61 for real xy. Now I will call this is our equation number 2. Let me write here x cube minus y cube equal to negative 184 and xy equal to 61. So I can use here a cube minus b cube identity which will be equal to x minus y whole cube plus 3xy x minus y equal to negative 184. Let us say x minus y equal to t. So I can write t cube plus 3 times xy is 61 x minus y is t equal to negative 184. Or I can write t cube plus 183 times t equal to negative 184. Or I can write t cube plus 183t plus 184 equal to 0. Now I can split 184 as 1 plus 183. So I can write our equation as t cube plus 1 
and then I will write 183 times t plus 1 equal to 0. Let's apply a cube plus b cube formula here. So t plus 1 times t square minus t plus 1 plus 183 times t plus 1 equal to 0. Now t plus 1 is common. In other bracket we will write t square minus t plus 1 plus 183 equal to 0. Or we can write t plus 1 times t square minus t plus 184 equal to 0. So we can conclude from here t plus 1 will be 0 or t square minus t plus 184 will be equal to 0. Now I will check discriminant here. This will be equal to b square minus 4ac. So b is negative 1. Negative 1 is square minus 4 times a is the coefficient of t square 1, c is 184. So this will give us 1 minus 736. So it is coming out minus 735. Discriminant is negative. We will get complex solutions. So we can reject this quadratic equation. So from this equation t plus 1 equal to 0, we can write t equal to negative 1. And t was our substitution x minus y. So I can write x minus y equal to negative 1. And xy is 61. So from here I can write y will be equal to 61 over x. And this value I will apply here. So I can write x minus 61 over x equal to negative 1. Multiply this equation with x. So I can write here x times x minus 61 over x equal to minus x. x square minus 61 equal to minus x. I will take 61 to the RHS and minus x to the LHS. So I can write x square plus x equal to 61. Now multiply both sides by 4. So I can write here 4 times x square plus x equal to 61 times 4. This will become 4x square plus 4x equal to 244. Now I will add 1 to both sides. Plus 1 plus 1. So LHS will become one perfect square of 2x plus 1 and RHS will be 245. Now I will take a square root both sides. So I can write 2x plus 1 will be equal to plus minus a square root 245. We can write plus minus square root of 49 times 5 it is. So RHS will become plus minus square root 49 is 7. So 7 is square root 5. LHS is 2x plus 1. Subtract 1 from both sides. 2x will be equal to negative 1 plus minus 7 is square root 5. Now we will divide both sides by 2. So we will get the two values of x. First one will be negative 1 plus 7 root 5 over 2. 
and second solution will be negative 1, negative 7 root 5 over 2. But the condition on x was x must be positive. So I will reject this solution. So our final answer will become 7 root 5 minus 1 over 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Till next video. Bye bye and take care of yourself.